What's going on people? It's your boy the real masculine coming at you with another video. Now this one is gonna be a little ranty. Just a pre-warning. It's gonna be a little ranty. Like slightly like rant level, like it ain't over nine thousand, but it's like it's gonna be up there. But before we get started, as always, I want y'all to sprinkle that baby powder. You know the the cow with the glitter in it on your hand. Smack that like button one time. Subscribe here for more. Now let's get into it. Project Scorpio announced last year. Not really a surprise. Everybody kind of knew from the leaks. They decided to show off the tech of Project Scorpio last week. It seems like it's going to be a very, very hefty console. Now, the power in that console will surpass the power of the other consoles that are out. That's not a debatable thing. It just is what it is. However, I continue to hear this Xbox has no games narrative or Xbox hasn't had any exclusives over and over again I hear this over and over again mind you I play a lot of games a lot of games on every platform imaginable I am confused as to where this random Xbox has no games is coming from because for the last three years PlayStation, to their admittance, had been sparse. Even last year alone, let's go last four months, they released PlayStation VR, put out all the more or less tech demos that come with PlayStation VR. There's a couple full games in there not discounting those but outside of PlayStation VR what did they release for the other 50 or so million people on PS4 because PlayStation VR sold about a million okay so you release games for them what about the other 49 million people what got released for them in those last four months? The Last Guardian. That's pretty much it. You can go, I'm sure someone will, put a list of obscure games that no one has played. I'm positive that will be a thing. So by all means, in the comment section, drop your list of obscurity. But, in your heart of hearts, you know that through December of last year, The Last Guardian was really the only thing that came out from the PlayStation side of things that's of note. And that was because it had been anticipated for 10 years. 10 years. Now, in that same span of time, Xbox dropped. Forza Horizon 3, ReCore, Dead Rising 4, Gears 4. I also am anticipating in the comment section, the games are on PC. Again, I play a lot of games. A good portion of those games are on PC. I have a rig that will destroy Project Scorpio and all the other systems combined. They could form Voltron of consoles and my system would sneeze on it, wipe his nose and keep it moving. But the fact of the matter is 
none of the games I just named can be played on PlayStation. Now, going forward this year, getting into the year, everybody is all hyped up because PlayStation, for the last few years, I don't, apparently I'm the only one who's noticed, releases the vast majority of their games towards the beginning of the year, and Xbox releases theirs towards the end of the year. I don't know how this cycle came to be, but it is a good move on Sony's part with their new partnerships with all the major companies, you know, their, their partnership with Destiny and their partnership with COD. They want to take their games and push them at the beginning of the year and then advertise the multi-platinum plat games at the end of the year as their own with their branding attached to it. Solid, solid, absolutely solid strategy. However, that doesn't stop Xbox from releasing their games. Now, Scalebound. I, personally saddened by Scalebound's demise. The story there, I ain't got it. Speculation is completely pointless. The game is not coming out. That's all that matters. I was anticipating that. I was trying to get my dragon and blow some stuff up. I, I had a dream of what my dragon would look like. I saw it in my head. It was going to be dope. And I was going to be sitting there just like everybody else with the Beats headphones on. The dubstep in the background, blowing stuff up with my lightning dragon. I was ready. Got canceled. Very sad. However, that game being canceled doesn't stop the rest of the games coming out. Games like, let's say, State of Decay 2 still coming out. I know it's weird. Still coming out. Sea of Thieves. Still coming out. I know. Again. These games. I thought the Xbox didn't have no games coming out. Nothing on the horizon. But it's just weird. Crackdown 3. Still coming out. I'm like, wow. It's still coming out. It's crazy. Because everybody keeps saying Xbox has no games on the horizon. Like, it's just like Dead Land coming out, apparently. Like, it's just... Barren as the eye can see. Like, I'm, I'm very confused as to how these games are still coming out. Cuphead. Wait, Cuphead's still coming out too? Y'all crazy. Oh, Below. Below still coming out? Really? I didn't, I didn't even know that. You see how this argument becomes idiotic as time goes on? Both Xbox and PlayStation have games coming out. E3 will come. More games will get announced. You know what will happen? People will play them. I know it's weird. I know it's weird. Bear with me. When games come out that you want to play, hold on, hold on. It's going to get crazy. You buy them and play them. It's weird, right? But apparently, that is only a thing on the PlayStation side. Every single PlayStation exclusive that's come out since the beginning of this year, I own. Didn't stop me from buying all the Xbox exclusives at the end of the last year. It won't stop me from buying the ones that's coming this year. State of Decay 2 is my one of my most anticipated games this entire year. I'm going to buy it on Xbox and PC. And... I don't even have to because it'll probably play anywhere. It's another wonderful thing. Again, maybe that's, it's just weird that that is a thing. That's an option. I buy it once. I own it everywhere. It's craziness. I know it's weird. Apparently, Microsoft, you are bad people for giving me the option to play it where I want to. Very bad people. How dare you do this? How dare you? How dare you? 
when I get my Scorpio, I can play it on my Scorpio and I can play it on my rig. You are bad people. Bad. Stop it. So like I said, apparently Xbox has no games. Maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. Also, just so you know, multiplats, they're a thing. It's crazy. Again, I know. You can play those too on any console they're on. It's weird. Maybe, maybe those aren't games. Maybe those are figments of my imagination. Eh. I'm out. As always, this your boy Maslin. Giving you the real. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Crazy, man.